Here we have it, we're going to start doing the filter setup now. So all we're going to be doing is parting this lip off here. Then we can weld the 4 inch Wiggins on there and the 3 inch outlet one here. Here we have it all done. So obviously you've seen we parted the ring off, put a little 45 degree chamfer on there, and just deburred it. So now we're ready to weld on the Wiggins. Real simple filter setup. So weld the Wiggins to the inlet now. Obviously the filter that'll be hose clamped to the end of the tube. If we can't get tight enough radius with that tube, we'll end up getting a little four inch donut. But yeah, we'll see if we can um, get away with this bend. Quickly tape that on there just so I don't scratch the anodized fittings. I've done that with, I think this one here, too much in and out with it. So. What I'm going to do, we'll sit it here roughly like that, something like that I think. Not too sure if I'm going to make an airbox for it or not, we'll see but yeah so hopefully we can get a tight enough radius from. I need you to see when I made the turbo manifold to get a nice accurate square cut, I'll just use a cable tie around it and mark it out that way. I'm ready to tack on the Wiggins, so we'll do that one. And we'll also do intake pipe here as well. Have the filter and lead all tacked on. Now time to go and do the elbow. We have the intake all done. Happy I didn't need a four inch donut in the end because I actually didn't want any welds along there. So landed exactly where I wanted it. Just got to do a final weld out. So I'll do that later on down the track once I get a bit more aluminium welding experience. Overall, easy job. Probably took all of an hour of that. Just a few trolling error, cut it just to get to the right angle, and that's it.